Hey ladies and gentlemen, Berta Worry here. Hope you guys are having a super awesome day. So what time is it? It's time for us to start studying, start studying. I'm continuing going to ask you guys to start studying. This is what's going to take us through the storms of life. This book, this book, the Holy Bible. So we're going to continue part two. And I forgot to make, make a notation on my Facebook, but I'll change it later. Part two, this is part two of a high experience so this is part two so uh let us go ahead and bow our, our heads for prayer to kind of gracious and father i thank you for today father continue to be with us as we study father a higher experience part two be with us in jesus name amen amen so from yesterday we did part one and it's the same book i'm dealing with uh using the ministry of healing you see that ministry of healing okay and so I'm going to um, read the last paragraph from yesterday so you know so it has a flow going here so it says although the baptism of blood must be first received although the sin of the world were to wait upon his innocent soul although the shadow of an unspeakable woe was upon him yet let me see I lost my place Yet, let me go back. Let me go back. Okay, so let me go here. Although the baptism of blood must first be received, although the sin of the world were to wait upon his innocent soul, although the shadow of an unspeakable woe was upon him, yet for the joy that was set before him, he chose to endure the cross and despise the shame. Okay, so today will be part two. So we this is going to start off part two. It says, this joy all his followers are to share, however great and glorious hereafter. Our rewards is not all to be reserved for the time of the final deliverance. Even here, we are by faith to enter into the Savior's joy. Like Moses... We are to endure the seeing the invincible. Okay, now the church is militant. Now we are confronted with the world, with a world in darkness. Although holy upon, upon, almost holy, given over to idolatry. Let me go back. Now we are confronted with the world in darkness almost wholly given over to idolatry. But the day is coming when the battle will have been fought and victory won. The will of God is to be done, unfought, the victory won. That doesn't mean, okay, let me go back. Let me go back. So he said, but the day is coming when the battle will have been what and victory won. The will of God is to be done on earth as it is done in heaven. The nations of the saved will know no other law than the law of heaven. Let me repeat that. The nations of the saved will know no other law than the law of heaven. All will be a happy united family clothed with the garment of praise and thanksgiving, the robe of Christ's righteousness. All nature, in its surpassing loveliness, will offer to God a tribute of praise and adoration. The world will be bathed in the light of heaven. The light of the moon will be as the light of the sun, and the light of the sun will will be sevenfold greater than it is now. The years will move on in gladness. Over the scene, the morning stars will sing together and the sons of God will shout for joy while God and Christ will unite in proclaiming, here are there shall be no more sins and neither shall there be any more death. So this is what God and Christ is going to unite in proclaiming. There will be no more sin. 
neither shall there be any more death. These vision of the future glory, scenes pictured by the hand of God should be dear to his children. Stand on the threshold of eternity and hear the gracious welcome given to those who in this life have cooperated with Christ, regarding it as a privilege and an honor to suffer for his sake, whose sake? For Christ's sake. With the angels, they cast their crown at the feet of the Redeemer, exclaiming, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. Honor and glory and power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb forever and ever. Isn't that beautiful? And that's taken from Revelations 5, 12 and 13. Wow, that's beautiful. It said, There the redeemed one greeted those who directed them to the uplifting Savior. They unite in praising him who died, that human being might have the life that measure with the life of God. The conflict is over. Let me repeat that. The conflict is over. Our tribulation and strife are at an end. So we know this will be like the final uh, when Jesus comes home to take when Jesus comes uh, to take his children home. Okay. The songs of victory filled all heaven as the redeemed stand around the throne of God. All take up that joyful stain. Worthy is the lamb that was slain and has redeemed us to God. Isn't that beautiful? Let me repeat that. Boy, this is a song. My goodness. Worthy is the lamb that was slain and have redeemed us to God. I beheld and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nation and kindred and people and town, stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white, with white robes, white robes, right? And we know that's uh, the blood of Jesus, with white robes and palms in their hand, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, which sitteth upon the throne, and unto the Lamb. Let me repeat that. Let me repeat that. My goodness. This is, this is, this is, this is heaven, right? This is heaven. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. It said, And I be hell, and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations, and kindreds, and people and towns stood before the throne. Okay? So it'll be people from all walks of life, all nationality, speaking all different languages, right? Stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with the white, with the white robes and palms in their hand, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. And that's Revelation 7, 9, and 10. Okay? So tomorrow, we're going to go ahead and, and pick up on part 3. And that will be the final part for a higher call. Okay? And then um, for a higher experience, I'm sorry, for a higher experience, that would be the last not the last topic for that particular part but then they would then then after that would be like the privilege of prayer so this is like a two like maybe a two week series okay so this will be like part three and then uh we'll end part three tomorrow and then we do another part okay so thank you guys for stopping by hey thank you guys hey adam thank you hope you guys are having a super awesome day so this is it for today isn't that beautiful right can you imagine when you get to heaven, there will be no more crying. There will be no one complaining. Everybody will be happy being in heaven. Everybody will be happy seeing Jesus face to face, right? You can touch him, and then you could see your loved one that have uh, that's laying 
that's laying in the grave right now, waiting for Jesus to wake them up, you'll be able to see those individuals. What about those individuals that you had ministered to, that you had uh, told them about the love of Jesus? Those individuals waking, uh, wake up and come to you and say, thank you, thank you for sharing, for sharing. Isn't that awesome? It's, it's going to be a beautiful day, uh, my brother, my sister, when Jesus comes back to take us home. Remember, when he comes back, he will not touch this earth okay he's going to be up in the air and those have died in jesus he will raise those up first and they will go up to to in the sky to meet him and then we that people that are alive will go up as well in the air to meet jesus and then you will travel to um to heaven it takes like a seven day journey to heaven and then we'll be in heaven for like a thousand years going over the books okay you can find that in the book of revelation talks about the one be heaven for a thousand years and then he comes back the third time and he will come with the vengeance and wrath meaning that satan will have his final time final time okay final time to decide and not because I mean, he doesn't have no other choice right so he will just um allow all those people to come and try to attack the city but i won't get into more detail because that's a little bit more deeper study so my sister my brother i hope you guys are having a super awesome afternoon it's a beautiful day i don't know where in your neighborhood if it's beautiful but it's beautiful here uh, right now i'm in the city of clovis california it's beautiful the wind is blowing it's not too hot. It's not too cold. It is just right. So have a super afternoon until tomorrow. We pick up on part three on a higher experience. And we want to have a higher experience. Oh, I can't forget. I can't forget. I got to do my song, right? I can't have to do my song. So here it goes. Here it goes. It's a higher ground. It says, I'm just going to do uh, verses one and then maybe verses four. Say, I'm pressing on the upward way. New heights I'm gaining every day. Still praying as I onward bound, Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. And then it goes, I want to scale the utmost high and catch a gleam of glory bright. But still I'm praying till heaven I found, Lord, lead me onto higher ground. And this is the chorus. Lord, lift me up and I shall stand by faith on heaven's table land. A higher plane than I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Hope that is your prayer today and my prayer um, as well today, my sister, my brother. So here's the closing prayer. May the Lord bless and keep you, my friends, now and forevermore. Amen and amen. Be blessed, my friends, my brothers, my sister. Until tomorrow, I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.